What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Bake In. Today we're going to be making some braided chocolate cinnamon roll muffins. Let's get started. So first up we're going to make the dough for the cinnamon roll muffins, chocolate cinnamon roll muffins. And for that we're going to need 240 milliliters of warm milk that I've just heated up in the microwave. And then we're going to add some sugar. This is 45 grams of sugar. And to that, the yeast. And this is going to help bloom the yeast. And we're going to let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes or so until it gets really foamy. That's it. And now we wait. <coughs> the sugar feeds the yeast, which is going to help it bloom. And you want to make sure you don't add salt to this mixture because salt will kill the yeast. So we're going to add salt later when we add the flour. looking good. So now what we're going to add to this, two eggs that I've just gently whisked together because it'll help them combine into the dough easier. And I've got ah, a mess. 115 grams of unsalted softened butter. And I'm just going to give these a whisk to combine and the butter will just make little specks in the mix. It won't completely obviously dissolve. And again, if you want to do this in your stand mixer, go right ahead. So now, I've got 565 grams of bread flour that we're going to use. Just going to add all of that in at once. And to that, a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to mix this all together and it'll form a dough. So always make sure you're getting from the bottom as well because there's lots of liquid stuck in the bottom. I don't want them to be stuck. This is one of my favorite doughs to make. It's really nice and soft and really easy to work with. So once it's come together about 90, 90%, I'm going to transfer it to the surface and give it a good need to get it really nice and soft. All right guys, so I've got a big surface here. What I'm gonna do is just dust it lightly with some flour, not too much. And we're gonna take that dough we made and just dump it right in the center there. So what we're gonna do is just gonna knead it with the heels of our hands or the heels of our palms just to get it really nice and smooth. And if you need to add a little bit more flour, that's okay. Remember there is chunks of butter in here, so it will be really nice and soft and kind of sticky to begin with until you work in that butter completely. It's kind of like those garlic buns we made earlier where we added the butter. So we're just trying to incorporate that in. I'm gonna add a little dusting of flour onto this, not much. See how it springs back like that? That's when we know the dough is ready to be rested and it has been kneaded enough. I'm just gonna shape it into a nice ball. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into a bowl here that I have greased with just a little bit of oil. You can use butter. And I'm just gonna let it rest somewhere warm to rise until it's doubled in size, which should take about 45 minutes. If it is really hot and humid, it will take less. If it's not, it takes longer. So while the dough is resting to rise, we're gonna make the filling for these chocolate cinnamon rolls. First up, chocolate. So I've got some callets here, which are really good quality dark chocolate. You can use any bar of dark chocolate, just make sure you chop it up quite finely. I like to use about 70% for this because I like a bit of bitterness and then counteract with some sweetness from sugar. 200 grams of dark chocolate here, 25 grams of butter, 20 grams of light soft brown sugar. I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a stir so I wanna make sure that the sugar isn't just sitting on top. I'm gonna microwave this to melt it completely to melt the sugar, the butter, and the chocolate until it's completely emulsified and then we're gonna add some other bits to it for the filling. So, be right back. Microwave is on. So what I've done is I've done it in 30 second intervals. Um, for mine, it took about a minute because I think my microwave is quite powerful. Just test it, that's why you do 30 second intervals and then stir it in between to make sure it's Nice and melted. And the chocolate will melt also with the residual heat. Cool, so I've got the melted chocolate, brown sugar, and butter here, which is looking great. And to that, I'm gonna add cinnamon and some cocoa powder. And this is dark chocolate cocoa powder, and also a little bit of vanilla for flavor. Let's give this a mix till it's all incorporated. It's gonna make a really nice spreadable filling. Cool, super easy, and it's gonna be so delicious inside those buns. And just let this sit at room temperature until it kind of sets up a bit more so that it's easily spreadable. You don't want it to be too loose because um, right now it is still quite warm from the microwave. So just give it a bit of time to set up. And then once the dough is ready, it'll all be ready and we'll be on our roll. All right guys, so I've got my dough. As you can see, it's risen quite a bit, doubled in size for sure. So what we're gonna do, take off the flim, flim, film. I'm just gonna punch it down just to get most of that air out. It's a very satisfying thing to do. 
because I don't want too many air bubbles right now. And set this aside. All right, we're gonna dust this with flour again. I'm gonna do quite a bit again because I'm gonna roll it out into a nice big rectangle. Flip it right in. Cool. So I'm gonna use my hands first to help shape it into a rectangle before I start to roll it. I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. And because it's really relaxed, it's gonna be a dream to roll. Super nice and smooth. I'm just gonna give it another little dust of flour on top just so my rolling pin doesn't stick. And then just start rolling. Make sure it's an, an even rectangle, quite thin, about a quarter to an eighth of an inch or so. Just keep moving your dough around, make sure it's not stuck. See how easy it is to work with. It's not springing back at all, which is great. Just staying put. It's looking like a bit of a square right now, so I'm just trying to get it into a rectangle. Looking sexy. Looking good. Happy with this. Cool, so now, I'm gonna... So I'm gonna take that beautiful chocolate filling that we made earlier, and we're gonna spread it all over. So I'm just gonna do few spoonfuls. See as it's set, it's become a little bit stickier and thicker, which is nice. And if you want to add more cinnamon to this because you want more of a cinnamon flavor, go ahead. Um, I'd also recommend you could add some cinnamon to the dough to enhance the cinnamon flavor. It's all good. Do your thing. And then my handy dandy offset spatula so I can get nice, smooth spread. Okay, cool. So unlike a normal cinnamon bun where you roll it up, what we're gonna do is fold it. So I'm gonna take this top half here, and I'm gonna fold it, and then we're gonna take this side, and you guessed it, put it right on top, and make a nice rectangle. Excellent. So now, I'm gonna trim these edges here. I want it nice and even. Cool, so we're gonna cut this into 12. So I'm gonna go in half, and half on both sides, and then each one into three. And use a really sharp knife. If not, you can also use a pizza cutter. I like to use a sharp knife for this. And then I'm gonna take one away and I'll show you guys what we're gonna do with them. Now for the fun part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. Do you see guys? Do you see guys? Do you guys see all these layers? See all the layers. So we're gonna bring this in and what we need to do is plait it, braid it. So I've got another knife. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut three strips in this, but I'm not gonna cut all the way through the top. So you can see I've left a little gap there. Cut three and then practice your braiding. How do you braid again? Like that. Excellent. And then from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it into itself like that. And we've got a beautiful chocolate flat. Ta-da! Now I'm just gonna do that with the rest of them and then we're gonna place them into a muffin to bake. All right guys, so I've got all my knots ready made. Can you see how beautiful they look? They've got the nice layers of chocolate Nicely ribbon throughout. That's it, just gonna place them in the muffin tin like that. I'm gonna cover them with a cloth and let them rise until they have also doubled in size. All right, so the dough has been resting and they are doubled in size. They look fantastic and I'm super excited to get them in the oven. So I have one egg here that I've added a little bit of salt, which breaks down the protein, so making it easier to brush so that we get a consistent golden brown color. So the oven is preheated to 200 degrees Celsius. Bake them for 15 to 20 minutes until they're nice, golden brown, and perfect. Okay, so while the buns are in the oven, I'm gonna make a quick glaze, which is super simple. We have got 120 grams of powdered sugar that I've sifted to get rid of any clumps. We've got 45 milliliters of heavy cream and some vanilla for flavor and just a little pinch of salt. And what I'm gonna do, just give this a little stir to combine until it's nice and smooth. So you guys see, it doesn't take too much. Quite easy. Icing is done. Easy as that. And now all we need to do is drizzle some of the icing on the buns. Are you guys moment of truth? They are done. They look amazing. I'm so pleased with how this braided look has turned out. And now all that's left to do is eat them. So let's go do that. Ooh, it's nice and warm. Mm. I'm just gonna see if I can rip it open. Oh, I'm making a mess, but. Mmm, delicious. Look at all those layers. It's all intertwined. Beautiful, really nice and fluffy, quite light. Mmm. 
so tasty and so easy to make as you guys saw. It doesn't take too much. I actually find these a bit easier to make than actual cinnamon rolls because of the cutting. It's a lot more fun and the braiding. But yeah, wow, it's chocolatey. Mm. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Bake In. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want today's recipe, you can find it in the comments below. See you guys. Oh, wow, wow, wow.